Hello, Kentucky District. My name is Pastor Bob McCabe, and I'm Compassionate Ministries Director for the Kentucky District. The last seven months have been unbelievable. God has done a great work through the Kentucky District Compassionate Ministries. It all started when five tornadoes touched down on the night of December 9th. The tornado started from Bowling Green and traveled 255 miles all the way through Mayfield, Kentucky. I received a message from Dr. Powell Saturday morning stating, I guess you're the relief guy for the district. I took a deep breath. Whew. And I responded, okay. The next day, Sunday morning, Dr. Powell and I traveled to Mayfield to see the damage and check in on the church. As we seen the damage, we could not believe how bad it was. We come back to Louisville that night, and the next day I get in the car with Brandon Sipes from Nazarene Disaster Relief, and we visited Bowling Green, Dawson Springs, and Mayfield. And during this time, I'm taking hundreds of phone calls. And in those three days, I planned with our district and other districts all over the U.S. on how to bring relief to Western Kentucky. Tuesday night, Brandon and I returned to Louisville. And we get out of the car and I asked Brandon, how can I do this without you? He told me the hardest part is over. I did not believe him at the time, but the day later, I found out he was right. Wednesday, I headed to Mayfield where I stayed for 15 days. During that time, Pastor Stephen and Sean, Pastor Andrea and Bill and I was, and others was able to maintain Mayfield Nazarene as a distribution center. The members from Mayfield Naz worked so hard for their community. They worked 12, 14 hours a day for 30 straight days at least. In Bowling Green, Pastor Scott and Mindy Laurier was able to run the relief effort there. They did such an amazing job there that I was able to stay with Mayfield and help them. We would communicate on the phone about anything and I would get it for them. I'm truly thankful for Madisonville Nazarene and Paducah Nazarene. We were able to use their facilities to house crews during the first 100 days. Today, we are now using both churches as needed for crews. And there was a time there that one day, on one day we had 100 Nazarenes in Western Kentucky working on, on homes from all over the country. It was amazing to see. I can stand here today and say that the first 100 days could not have gone any smoother than it did. We needed stuff to come late, and it did. We needed stuff to come early, and it did. We needed crews to come and help, and they did. Why? Because the Lord led this relief effort. We as a people just listened to Him. Seven months into the relief effort, I have great news. All the Nazarene families affected by the storms have been helped. All three Nazarene churches were missed by the tornadoes, which allowed all three churches to be used as a distribution centers and for housing crews. What's happening now? We are partnering with HR Ministries in Princeton, Kentucky, which is right beside Dawson Springs. They are building homes for tornado victims, and we are sending them crews to help them build them. If you want to bring a crew, please reach out to me, and we'll get it all worked out. Fellow pastors and all the churches on the district, I want to thank you for all your prayers and your support that you gave Western Kentucky during a very difficult time. The other great news is about the great things that are happening at, at Overflow Community Center. This past winter, we were able to remodel the sanctuary. Look at it. Check it out. Look how good it looks. Everything has been updated in the sanctuary, and it looks great. The downstairs has been redone, and now the left side has a new Kingdom Pantry grocery store. And then when you go through there to the left is the People's Outlet. The right side has the Flow Academy, which will be the tutoring service, and Game City is down the hall to the right, which is a place for kids to have fun. The first week of March, we opened the new Kingdom Pantry grocery store. It is now open every Monday night from 5 to 7, and whoever comes, everything is free. God is using the Kingdom Pantry in a big way. We are averaging 50 families every Monday night. The most we've had on a Monday night is 65. 65 families. As the families come, they check in and wait in the lobby to go into the store. During that time, while they're waiting, we are building relationships with them. Because of what the people went through with COVID-19, people are enjoying talking to each other as they wait. We have been able to pray with families and start a conversation about the future start of Overflow Community Church. We are now helping a thousand people a month. A thousand people a month. 
The mission for the Compassionate Ministry is shaping a new journey. As you can see, the mission is being done on the district level and the local level. We understand compassion is uncomfortable, and because of that, compassion changes lives. Continue to pray for this ministry to impact people's lives. And remember, we are here as a Compassionate Ministry to help you reach your community. Lord, may your kingdom continue to come and you will be done through Compassionate Ministries. I love all of you and I am truly thankful to serve you.